Hi everyone, my name is Sophia and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair transformation vlog. I'm going to go do something to my hair. You guys will probably know by the thumbnail anyway. But basically I'm going to do um, a one step color, dyeing my hair. And I'm also going to get a blowout while I'm there. Um, and I'm doing it at Milk and Honey Salon and Spa. Um, in Houston and I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna love it just as much as I loved it last year and it was a huge change but it was really pretty. I think I might ask to trim my curtain bangs because they're literally down here because it's been a year um, but I don't know yet. But this is what my hair looks like. I think it's it's a weird length right now. It's like kind of a medium length because um, I got a haircut not too long ago um, but yeah I I like it and I think it'll look good with the dark hair. Um, last year my dark hair was up to like here, so it's just a little longer, not too much. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started on the vlog. I'm here at Milk and Honey and I'm about to get my hair done. Just processing. Okay guys, I'm processing for 20 to 30 minutes and I, I'm shy. All right, so we just finished doing my dye and now it's processing and then I'm gonna be done with this and we're gonna wash it out and do a blowout. Okay, so I just finished my hair and I'm waiting for my parents and Rocio and Kansen to come and pick me up because they come came and dropped me off here. So yeah, but this is my hair. Okay, I just changed into this sweater because I want to take pictures at Post. We're at Post Houston, which you guys have probably seen in my other vlog that I came with Vanessa, but we're with my family now and uh, yeah, I'm ready. To go, I just like reapplied my lipstick, put on my earrings again because I had taken them off at the hair salon. And yeah, and I also got Shake Shock. Very, very, very good. Um, so yeah. Okay, we're inside post. We're gonna climb to the top and take pictures and see what it's all about, even though I've already been, so I already know. Um, but I didn't take pictures at the top when I came. Alright, hey guys, so it's been like a while since I vlogged, it's been like a day since I vlogged and I didn't vlog a lot at post because it was so windy outside that when we got onto the rooftop I was just trying to get my pictures from for my new hair to, the, to post my new hair and be done. Um, speaking of posting, I made a new Instagram for just to feel like I can post whatever I want whenever I want and not feel weird about posting like where everyone from like my past and my present and like people around me and stuff can see because obviously my friends and everything support me and I don't think anyone's like judging me for posting a lot but you know there's like just that weird like stigma around like posting all the time and like thinking you're an influencer and whatever and just it's weird I don't know how to explain it but it's just like I felt weird posting all the time on my personal account so I decided to make a new account dedicated to uh Outfits, beauty, fashion, hair, lifestyle, all that stuff. The things that I show on YouTube, which normally has been lifestyle lately because I've just been super busy um, to, like, in the last semester was a super busy semester, so I just was vlogging, but um, I got a little lazy to film any other videos other than vlogs, so I've been vlogging a lot, but I really do want to get back into, sorry, that's my phone. I want to get back into, uh, like sit down videos and beauty videos and things like that which i will but anyways um you're gonna see a lot of different content on there you can also follow me on my personal account um which i still post on there so i have two instagrams but the one that i will be posting on very 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 frequently is sophie style blog so sophie style blog is the new instagram and you guys can go check it out and give it some love 
um, it'll be in the description below and it will be on oh my <coughs> oh my god all my platforms and yeah uh sophie saw vlog new instagram and then i have ss.alonzo as my personal account which i will keep public because i still love posting on there and i do post pictures on there that don't make my sophie saw vlog so if you're just interested in that um it's a growing account that i still love and appreciate and i will still put general effort into but i really want sophie saw vlog to be this instagram that i feel completely free to post whatever I want and all that stuff so there's that um, and then um, my ss.alonzo tiktok that's where I post my tiktoks and I post pretty regularly on there definitely once a week but I'm gonna try to do it more frequently and I'll do like reels and stuff on my Sophie style blog as well so we'll see what it comes into what it like what it um, turns into um, this was kind of inspired by Acquired Style. So Acquired Style has posted that she, her name is Bridget, I believe. Um, she has posted that she like ditched her main account and made a blog account and showed the growth of it. And it like skyrocketed because she was posting whatever she wanted, whenever she wanted. And that's what I want to do. And it's not just for numbers and money and monetization and all that stuff. It's actually just to be able to feel free to be like expressive and all that stuff. So I decided that that's what I'm doing. And that's what Sophie Style Blog will be all about. And yeah, I want to show you guys though some hair products um, because I posted on Sophie Style Blog. Um, and by the way, if the name changes, bear with me. I'm still kind of figuring out the names. So if you guys have cool names for Instagrams or something, then hit me up. It was Sophie Fit Check at the beginning, but then I changed it to Sophie Style Blog. I don't really know. We'll see what it turns into. Um, it might be something new i don't know we'll see what it is but anyways um i want to show you guys these two products that i showed on sophie style vlog it's on there so if you guys want to like go and look at it again later it'll be on my highlights on there um and it's the red can color extend shampoo and the amica vault color lock conditioner these two products really helped my hair last last year when i did my hair this color um and by the way the process of this color was done at milk and honey and it was the same exact same process that was done last year at milk and honey with riley but this year i did it with mimi because um riley was unavailable that day and it was the only day that i could so um mimi was amazing she was super energetic and super fun and bubbly and had the best like we had the best talks um and she did an amazing job and i love my hair and yeah it just was a one-step color process for like 30 minutes and then i did a little bit of a blowout it's washed now so it's just kind of blah i did get curtain bangs um and yeah anyways what i was talking about is these are the two products that i used last year when i first did my hair and they really helped make the color last so yeah but the thing that helped it last the most and by the way i did a video on these products i believe um i could be wrong but i think i did a video on these and i'll link it right up here um but the thing that helped the the color stay the most and i talked about this on my tiktok is the amica fade blocker pre shampoo color seal this product right here is literally heaven sent it is the best product for um your hair you put it in your hair before you shampoo it like before you even shower you just let it sit in your hair and then you shower and it kind of creates this like seal um, for your color and it's amazing and I love it and it looks like this. It's like this literal like it looks like you're about to dye your hair again but not. I don't know. It's really cool. And then to keep it healthy um, and maintained I really wanted to use like a hair mask type of product or just something that would help it um, be maintained. So this is the product that I use. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector Number no. 3 that repairs and strengthens all hair types. And it looks like this. It's an amazing product. Really, really helped my hair um, grow and stay, you know, uh, stay healthy. So 
those are the four products that I wanted to talk about at the end of this video and talk to you guys about hair a little bit because this video is centered around hair. But I did want to talk about Sophie's style blog. And yeah, um, I will be seeing you guys on there and I'll see you guys on Instagram and I'll see you guys on TikTok and I'll see you guys everywhere. And I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it wasn't the most amazing video ever, it was a video that I like to look back on because I love to look back on little moments in my life like my hair color changing and Christmas and all these things and New Year's and Corona, Last, last my last video is a COVID vlog. Just looking back on things in my life and stuff and yeah, so that's that on that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!